and we are live. Hello everyone, welcome to the premiere of Sonado Play Grand Theft Auto 3. Joining me as per usual is my lovely girlfriend, I am Shadow007. Say hello, hon. Hello. And this is a true definitive classic, released in 2001, October 2001. Wow. So, here we go. This is probably, I think, this was the first game I ever played on the PS2 when it first came out. Damn. So, let's just start a new game. Is the cutscene froze? Oh no. Ugh. Okay. Um. That was odd. Okay. Well then, gonna restart the game. It's an old, it's an old game to be fair, like very old. <laughs> of course it is. Give me a second. What happens again you think, just... would... you think they would revamp this well they did but it was shit remember it came remember the new version a couple came out a couple of years ago oh yeah all right just checking it's there i'll give you the game if it happens again i'll just skip the intro it's no big deal okay Fuck it, I'll just skip the intro. Yeah, screw it. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Right. I'll uh I'll sum it up. Basically, well the low life scumbag we're playing as here, known as Claude, he was robbing a bank with his girlfriend Catalina, but then but then Catalina betrays him, and he ends up getting caught. And then on uh -huh. on the way to Liberty Penitentiary, a group of Colombian gangsters, uh uh Went in front of the convoy to get out to get someone else out of the out of the van, and mm -hmm. then, but they also left a bomb in the bridge, which caused the sheer destruction you're seeing now. Jesus. And uh, yeah, this is not the quote-unquote definitive edition. It's the PC version with a lot of mods to it. So we've got like cars. We've got like revamped cars. Better textures and all that. Nice. So here we are in the seedy underground of Liberty City, based on New York. Can you see the game okay? Yep. So first up, it's just a simple case of driving to our hideout to lay low and get these prison clothes off. Here we are. This, this game came out in 2001. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. This game came out in October 2001 for the PS2 and a year later on the Xbox and PC. So basically it's just telling us everything we can do here. Garage to store a car and all that. I mean, at its core it's a very simple game because this was like the first game of its type. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so our protagonist Claude doesn't speak because I think Rockstar had more to worry with about trying to develop this game than having a speaking protagonist. Makes sense. So he's a mute. This is Luigi's club. Let's go around the back and use the service door. That's the loading screen, I take it? Yeah, for missions and all that. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. 
Yes, it was 23 years ago. I was nine years old when this game came out. You don't need to remind me that I'm old. <laughs> God, these character models. But I mean, I for, know. for its time, this was revolutionary. Hey, Paul's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. You got it. Yep. How to tell this is New York City? Pretty much. By the way, can everyone uh, hear me and Nicole okay over the game? Because it's a full screen game, so I can't actually see the volume on OBS. So if, yeah, can you guys can you guys hear us okay? If there's sound issues, let me know. Like if the game's too quiet or if it's too loud or what. Aiden says yes, we're good. Cool. Allie says crystal clear, Jarl says we're good. Alright. Oh yeah, and because this is the PC version, we do have a custom playlist, simply called MP3 player. Nice. Filled Stewie says we're good. Stewie oh. says we're good too. And All right. Chris. Uh, let's take a break. Ah, it's, it's a chatterbox from Liberty City Stories right now. Ah. Yeah, because, because this was the first of its type, it didn't really have a... Uh, like a licensed soundtrack. Most of the music was composed in-house. Ah. It does have some licensed music. Flashback FM, which is just the Scarface soundtrack. Like any Grand Theft Auto game, we gotta get through the boring first few missions first. Yep, pretty much. That's always the problem with Grand Theft Auto games at first, is the first few missions are so boring. Until the plot kicks in. Well, this game doesn't really have much of a plot, per se. It's more just uh, Claude working through the different criminal ranks of Liberty City to uh, get revenge on Catalina for leaving him for dead. Uh. That was another mod I put in the... Notice the police cars, the blue with the white stripe. I see it. Because that was what the police cars originally looked like in the game when it first came out, but, well, we know a certain terrorist attack happened. I don't want to pick up a hooker right now, <laughs> but, but we know oh. a certain a certain terrorist attack happened in September 2001. Mm -hmm. So out of respect for the NYPD, they were changed to like standard black and white police cars for the game. Mm. But I think, you know, it's been 20 years, so I think it's safe to put the blue and white ones back in. Yeah, I know, right? Come on. Don't spank my bitch up. Stay classy, Rockstar. Back my bitch up, back my bitch up. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. Takes place in 2001, Chris. It's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guys been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Hop. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. For the for first of its kind, this game actually had a pretty good cast. People from The Sopranos, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Is James Gandolfini in this game? No. But the guy you Damn. just heard, to the guy you just heard talking, he was in The Sopranos, and apparently uh. he was—I can't remember who he played, but he was a right evil bastard in it. I forget. They're like, oh wait, James Gandolfini. I love that guy. Nah, he's not in this. Yeah, this game takes place around October 2001. It's a it takes place in what was the present day when the game came out. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Bring it. Well, that was easy. Oh, so controversial. <laughs> oh, no. You remember... Because of course we all remember the controversy this game caused when it first came out. Yep. And like I said, all the, all the MS, look at all the MS Paint blood. Yeah, like I said, like all, MS Paint. all the cars are revamped HD HD versions of them, so they all look really nice. Let's see. 
That'll do it. Early 2000s trance. Can't go wrong. Yep. And all the custom tracks on my... All the custom tracks on my... MP3 player are all like tracks from like the mid to late 90s. Perfect for the 2001 New York scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the first few missions are basically like glorified tutorials telling you what to do. Because you can't have a tutorial in a video game. Well, to be fair, again, this game was like, like brand new and out of this world when it first came out. Yeah. As you said, the graphics of this back then were revolutionary. They were. I mean, the idea of just being able to roam around a city in 3D on foot and all that, I mean, that... Had, the only game that really attempted that before was Driver 2 on the PS1. Yeah. But once you got outside your car in that game, you really couldn't do much. Hell, this game actually takes a jab at that later on, saying he's pretty much useless out of his car. Huh. You tired? No, I'm fine. I was just yawning. But yeah, the whole thing kind of reminds me of when the, N when the N64 came out. And like, you know, Super Mario 64, Ocarina of Time, Star Fox, like... The graphics back then, though, like at the time, it was like, oh crap, it was so cool, 3D graphics like that, 64-bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, what sets those games apart from this, though, is that this game is, well, you can basically do whatever the hell you want. You don't have to yeah. follow the story. Yeah. Well, you do if you want to progress through the, the city. Mm -hmm. The city we're on right now is called Portland. It's based on, like, the Brooklyn areas of New York. Oh, okay. Let's see if my car's still there. Whoa, Nelly. And the, game, and the game doesn't have autosave, so I'm going to have to manually save, save. manually save from time to time. Oh, it's still there. Huh. You know, uh, whenever I think of Grand Theft Auto, I think of the first game where you had to do a car mission. Crazy Taxi! Uh, Crazy Taxi is a completely different game. I know, but you know what I mean, like, you know, with escorts and all that. <laughs> and man, the, the radio selections, the music, like, that's all I want by the offspring. Crazy Taxi was a good game. Oh, uh, ta I love Crazy Taxi. Sorry! No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Crazy Taxi. Alright, Luigi, what you got for us now? Talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage and threaten and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. What am I, a taxi driver now? <laughs> Get your ass in the car, Misty. Welcome back. This is Andy. Playing all the best music on the Lips 106 Express. You're welcome right here, Lips Luigi now, huh? It's about time you got a drive on the Sure, hot mix when we play one record. Back with you. Sure, whatever you say. Yeah, I know, right? One thing you're going to learn about Claude as this game goes on, that he, he has absolutely no loyalty to anyone. He follows the money. Yeah, I mean, after being uh, left for dead like that by Catalina, yeah, you would be like, yeah, you know what, screw everybody, I'm doing what because I want to do. Yeah, Claude's got loyalty to no one. Yeah. And if you piss, if you piss him off, he will come after you. Oh yeah, he would. As we'll learn with another character later in the game, in the second island. Begins again. 
I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Are you say, Lois? Hey, I'm Joey. <laughs> Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? You got it. Oh. Telephone's been off there. Secret mission. Dog food factory. Ooh. Ooh. The crook. The name's Jocks. Marty Jocks. I run the bitch and dog food factory around the corner. I got money to around the corner. Who doesn't, right? I mean, uh -huh. my back That's a right Chicago later. accent. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood sucking leech. All right. Yeah, these character models may not be the best, but I'll take them well over over what they did to the characters in the quote-unquote definitive edition. Yeah. Despite the graphics being dated, this game went for a... try to go for a realistic look against the very grainy, gritty look of the city. But mm -hmm. the definitive edition just made them look like fucking cartoons. And while, yes, these games may be, you know, less realistic than later Grand Theft Auto games, they're anything but cartoony. Fun fact, that's Dan Houser, the writer of the game. <laughs> no way! <laughs> yeah, they had a very limited cast with the pedestrians in this game, because obviously they were focusing on the character voices. Makes sense. Alright, into the dog food factory, because he totally wants to talk to you. Yes. I know, right? Yeah, your character, your character in this game is, like, later characters in Grand Theft Auto sometimes do have a morality scale of what they will and won't do, but Claude, he's just an evil bastard. Yep. He takes shit from no one. Yep. And if you fuck with him, he'll, he will throw some hands. Yeah, he will. Get your hands off me, arm! <laughs> I know he said I know he said arm, but it sounded like he said get your hands off me arse. Oh, I know, right. Alright, gotta get rid of the car now. Can't leave any evidence for the LCPD. Nope. Yeah, lost. Yeah, there's a there's an array of side activities to do. Kill frenzies, police missions, ambulance missions, taxi missions. For 2001, there was a lot to do. Huh. Man, 2001 was such a good year for gaming. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Ow, eat, ow, ooh, ow, ooh. Bleh. Nice. Oh, bollocks. Whoa! But it got destroyed, so... Oh, whatever. Right. You fail. Can you do it again? Yeah. I just have to go back to the mission point. I need a new vehicle. Here's the It's only within certain times, so I don't know if I might be too late for it now. I'll have to come back to it later. But thankfully, like in Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, Redemption 1, sorry, if I go save the game, uh, the clock will advance. Yeah, I can't do it just now. We'll give the game a quick save right now. Alright. Ah, the 90s. What a decade for music. Mm hmm I miss 90s music. Well, yeah, I'm a good guy as well, Yarl, but Grand Theft Auto is pure fantasy. Oh, yeah. There's no wrong way to fantasize. I'll just save this in slot three.
pump action pimp. <laughs> Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Abner Nation opposite the subway. His voice cracked him. Yep. You know, buddy, you can do that all yourself. He's a boss now. He doesn't. He doesn't have to. He can delegate. Nah. Ammunition. Yep. That is something. That is something America would own. I left you nine in the yard. That is. That does sound like a legit gun store America would have. Well, despite the fact the game was written and developed by Brits, you know, as a very good satire of America. Yeah, I know, right? It would have been a lot more funny if the ammunition store was owned by a guy who sounds and looks like Charlton Heston. <laughs> I gotta be careful here because as the name implies, the guy has a shotgun. Oh boy. See what I mean? Phew. Four thousand. And and whatever money they dropped. What's this? The pistol is now in stock at Amu Nation. Yeah, pagers. Remember them? Oh yeah, pagers. Yeah, I've made. Now. <laughs> I've made sure all the music in uh, this in my MP3 list is before two thousand and one or before. to keep authentic with the scent. So far, I think this track is my favorite. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's all it's all 90s music, like real music. Yeah. Yeah. All that regurgitated garbage of today's music. I'm going to need one of these for uh, the next mission by Luigi. Okie dokie. The very first GTA game I ever played was the original Grand Theft Auto One. I think I was wow. like I think I was like six. And your folks didn't bat an eye with the M rating. No, because it was a, the original Grand Theft Auto was very cartoony. Uh. Like the original Grand Theft Auto was like those top-down games. Yeah. That's what made this game so revolutionary because. The last GTA before this was like overhead top down. This was the first one to be in full 3D. Sorry! Ooh, you, I like this track. You saw nothing, officer. Oh no! The Popo! I can't do another nickel! The Fuzzball. <sighs> yeah, that's how I would be able to please on me. <laughs> Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. All right. <laughs> That's why I said I needed this, because with this, I can pick them all up at once rather than making multiple trips. There's actually an achievement for that in the uh, quote-unquote definitive edition. Oh. Yeah, if you uh, if you pick them if you pick them all up with the bus and drop them off, you'll get an achievement. <laughs> you want to get some coke in you or something? You're yawning a lot. I'm okay. I just uh, I didn't sleep too well last night, but I'm okay. All right, but get something in you to wake you up. I will. And no, guys, I don't drink coffee. In the Navy, 
No, oh, trust me, she doesn't. I've tried. Once was enough. I tried and did not like it at all. I still maintain you might like lattes. But what about a frappuccino? Oh, you mean a milkshake? Is this actually what a frappuccino is? A frappuccino is just a milkshake with ice cream, so... Drank two cups today. Amateur numbers. I've had three, y'all. You had three cups of coffee? Yeah. Are you sure you're not good though? Snatch while stream can wake me up. Maybe. Uh oh. To the pantry! <laughs> huh, sounds like ABBA. <laughs> that was made in house. This is on Lips 106, one of the radio stations. Yeah, they sound like ABBA. <laughs> Maybe that was the inspiration. You can dance, you can jump, oh, having the time of your life. Oh, see that girl, watch that scene, making the dancing queen. Wasn't that just great? Next week, we've got our big buy monthly phone in. When you get the chance to win a meal for two at a fast food outlet of gotta your choice. Gotta be careful. So much as nudging, a cop, so much as nudging the cop car will give you a wanted Finally, level. Pop music's got a new voice. Hello. Welcome to Lips 106. Hey, this is Andy on the Lips 106 Wheels of Steel. I wonder if these We need in the butt, 97.1. What? Today... Those annoying talk shows with the annoying slogans and sound effects. You know that was old classic 90s radio when they do that. <laughs> ah, this track's from Liberty City Stories. Which took, which took place in this city just a few years before GTA 3. Huh. One of the PSP games. Hmm. The PSP games, now, they were revolutionary for their time. Been able to play Grand Theft Auto on the go. Oh, Alright, I'll move closer. God almighty. And. So you and your all drink like three cups of coffee. It's like, how have you guys not had any heart palpitations? Because the coffee's going out the system as quickly as it is going in. Ah. And you'd need several. You need more than just three cups of coffee to have heart problems. Hmm. Maybe if you eat raw cat, if you eat like raw caffeine right from the plant, that will give you heart problems. Coffee won't. Yeah, a lot of big misconception about like coffee is like, oh, try the frappuccino. It's like, but uh, I actually see, I just saw like some like an actual barista like taste this in the frappuccino, and he said it's just a milkshake. Like, like, there's barely any coffee in it. It's just, it's just a milkshake with ice cream in it. So, Are you kidding me? The fucking bus got stuck. Oh no. All right, kind of wake me up with some sugar. Yeah, I'm going to need to redo this mission. Cannot believe the fucking oh. bus got stuck there. Bob. Oh wait, they're following me. Hold on. Oh yeah, Ali, I remember that. He, it's hence the inspiration for the Wilkins coffee commercial. Okay, good. They followed me, so I still passed. That's good. Jim Henson said he ha he hated coffee to the point he said he only drank it to get someone pointed a gun at him. Man sparked the Wilkins coffee commercial. <laughs> if you go into a police car in this game, you'll get a free shotgun. Which, oh, 
which I am which I am convinced is a reference to Terminator One. If you go like remember the part near the start of the movie, Kyle Reese opens up a police car and gets a shotgun out of it. Yep, I remember. Alright, looks like I've finished Luigi's missions. Let's go see what Joey wants. Oh, Jamiroquai. Mike Lips last lunch. Hey, I'm bored. When are you gonna drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Mm -hmm. Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be in forever. Sounds good. <laughs> no, I thought he was going to be stuffed in his face 24-7. So true! I'm in love with you. this car here so we gotta take it to the bomb shop down just down the road Alrighty. you like checking out classic musicals and this is before gps is in the game so you had to know where you were going uh, hell this game this game doesn't even have a this game doesn't even have an in-game map from vice city onwards they had in-game maps but not this one <laughs> a sign of how primitive this game was well, how primitive it is now. Mm -hmm. But again, this is the granddaddy of open world games. Every single game, open world game, that came out after this, you can thank this one. Hmm. Right. Bombs armed. Well, the bomb's been planted, I should say. Mm-hmm. We saw it. Arm the bomb and get the fuck out of there. Fuck it. Ah, that was a good meal. All on someone else's account. <laughs> now to just get home and rest. Was my car so close to the line before? Eh. What the? <laughs> Finns are at are Europe's largest coffee consumer. I think Finland is the largest coffee consumer in the world, actually. Not just Mark's Europe. Be Mark's Bistro, eat till you explode. Get it? <laughs> this is one of those songs you want to drive fast to. Oh yeah. The lemon, the lemon. Remember the music? Remember the clothes? You can just forget about the morning. Looking out to this song with a bag of McDonald's in front of me. Huh? Oh, walking in Memphis. Which is actually a 90s song. I actually I always thought it came out in the 80s. Huh. Farewell, Chunky Lee Chong. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Colombia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. 
If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. You got it. Donkey Lee Chong, totally not a stereotype. Walking with my feet ten feet off a of beer. Walking in Memphis. But do I really feel the way I feel? There is a pretty cool way to actually take this guy out. Oh. This is his car, so we're gonna borrow it. So far, I've only hit a few puddles. Okay. But it's good to know it's there. With the time I save taking shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important things, like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? One delivered. Just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. <laughs> petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. Yeah, I know all uh, about it. Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap, but how could they be so dumb? It's remarkable, I think. Think of all the things you do. I mean, the things that you want to buy in a CD. What do you do, Leslie? I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I know, Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I buy a CD. I was walking with my feet ten feet off a of beam. Walking in Memphis. But do I really feel the way I feel? Sorry. Put on my blue switch shoes. I love this song. It's good. Oh! Damn. Yes, I am a maniac. What of it? I'm a maniac. Me? He's a maniac. Me? Slow. Right, park the car back where I found it. Arm the bomb. Just leave you the dance car dance like no one had danced before. Sorry! Right, now we go into Chinatown through this way. Go down this way. There's Chunky Lee Chong there by his noodle stand. Okay. As you get get closer, he starts running. I'm not going to bother shooting him just now. He gets into his car. <laughs> Mission passed. Good thinking, honey. And again, there's also an achievement for that in the definitive edition. Nice. You know what? That thing doesn't deserve the title definitive. From here on out, it's going to get called defective. What's so bad about it? Oof, the amount of bugs. The amount of bugs, the shit, the horrible, horrible art style completely ruined the look of the original ga games. Jeez. And they never patched it up? They did, but it took so damn long. And the, don't get me started on the lighting. Ugh. Like, reminds, me of how, reminds me of how Konami with the Silent Hill uh, collection. Oh, it was the worst. But yeah, notice how this game has a very sort of gritty, bleak art style. Which makes mm -hmm. sense. Liberty City is meant to be a bleak place. But the lighting, the lighting in the, the definitive edition made it look like a bright, cartoony, happy place. Which Liberty City is meant to be anything but. Yeah. Like, out of the three original Grand Theft Auto games on the PlayStation 2, this one is by far the darkest. <laughs> it's a very dark game. Careful! Uh, he's a pickpocket, who cares? Deserves it. 
homeless guy there Scottish. Beat it, you mental! <laughs> a little nod to the fact this game is developed in Scotland. Van Heist. Alright, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor. So what get payroll a van? And this is New York City. Do you know how, hard, how many how many payroll vans would be in that city? And take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. <laughs> we're gonna hit the now, payroll van. The yeah, which one? Place, so don't hang around. Yeah, I guess we'll just use this cart. It's already banged up anyway. And we're going to use it to bang up a security van. And then once the security guard flees, take the van. Yep. And this is going to cause some attention of the local PD. So be prepared for the sirens. Hey, buddy! Things used to be better! Oh, God. Premium voice acting. I'm 62 years old! 2001. Voice acting in video games wasn't really, well, shall we say, proficient back then. No. Though the voice acting in this game for, like, most of the main cast is actually really damn good for its time. Yeah, that's good. Oh, the original Grand Theft Auto theme. Oh god. It is? You got a star. Yeah. I know. Hey you, gimme. Not this time, copper. Remember me? Ooh, 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 that did a lot of damage. Uh, no six. Thank you. Now I gotta take the van to the lockup. With the local PD on our ass. Oh no! The popo! I can't do another nickel! <sighs> Oh yeah, the LCPD in this game are stubborn. Like, they will keep coming after you. Unless it's in a mission where they just randomly go away. <laughs> Easy enough. 20,000. Can't argue with that. Decent amount of cash for the job. No. Oop, what we got here? El Burro wants to offer you an opportunity. Get to the payphone in Hepburn Heights. If you want more info. First we're going to take a little beat here because I know an area that's got a small pickup. Well, of like oh. health, armor, and a weapon. Ah. Oh! Just involves going along the train track here. Whee! And yes, you can ride the trains in this game. Awesome. Alright, here it is. Just a case of, uh... Yep. Just, uh, gently. And then... Ow. I'm okay. I think. <laughs> I'm alright. Just a broken leg. Ow, ow, ow. Or, or two. Ow, 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 ow. Wait, then how is he walking? I don't know. Ooh! That's like the only noise you'll hear off Claude. Is uh, grunting noises when he's in pain. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Here we are. Here's some body armor. Health. And an AK. Ooh. 
cool. So generous. So we've got we've got a pistol, which looks like a 1911. We've got a Mac 10. We've got a shotgun, and now we have an AK. And this here, hmm. this is an adrenaline pill. What it does is it slows down time and makes you makes you a lot stronger. Let me demonstrate on some poor okay. saps. Let me demonstrate on some poor saps down there. Oh, and that white thing you just saw there's a hidden package. Collect enough oh. of them. Collect enough of them. You unlock some weapons. Let's take on this poor unfortunate soul here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. <Whoa>. Boom. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Makes you ridiculously strong. You just send them flying. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, you want to fight? All right. <laughs> I love this game. I can tell. Boom! <laughs> hey, yeah. Slow mo. The slow mo. Woohoo! Come on, bring it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's worn off. All right, let's go see Joey. All right. Cipriani chauffeur. The real sweet. She purrs, you know what I mean? Oh, here's the guy I was telling you about. All right, listen, this guy, he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's capo, Tony Cipriani. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant in St. Mark's, all right? Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Sure thing. Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? New beginnings. All right. Revolutionary new way of. Ah, lady, hear me tonight. It's true, I can tell by the look in your eyes. The song's in GTA 5 as well. Nice. But it came out in 2001, so that's why I put it in my playlist. Wait here. Okay. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Oh, I know it ain't a social call. <laughs> I've only played this game a thousand times. Uh oh. It's a trial oh. ambush. Get us out of here, kid. One more. Oh, come on. That's just. Uh, there we go. Got a bonus bit of money for that. I'll get back in the vehicle in a second. Just going to collect this ammo. Uh, the old days where items just floated and floated in midair. <laughs> I kind of miss that in games. <laughs> yeah, I do too. The only thing I will grant the Defective Edition is the weather effects. Like, the weather effects in the De Defective Edition are really, really good. Only the game itself is actually definitive. They can mess with me. The triads. With me. Drop by later and we'll give them something to launder. Their own blood stained clothes. Sure thing. Yeah, so Claude's basically just a vessel for the player. He listens to he listens to his objective, goes and does it. Yep. Alright, uh this junk keeps kind of wrecked, so I'll go and uh, get something else. In fact, it should be up, up there by the north of the city. The Uzi's now in stock. Excellent. Five, six. Let's have another record. I can't believe it. Woo! Sorry! Is it here? Yes, it is. Beat the Banshee. Which was the fastest car you could get at this point in the game. Because we're going to need it. It's 
very clearly a Dodge Viper. <laughs> Forget about it! Forget about it! Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a bit of a pile up there. Anyway, we're going to talk to El Burro of the Diablos. El Burro? Torresmo. This is El Burro of the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting by the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels, and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. Easy enough. It's a race. A race, you say? Yes. Ooh, this thing's fast. Oh yeah, that thing's a police bribe. Oh. Collect one of them, you'll lose a star of wanted level. Perfect music for racing as well. And I think they've piled up. Yep. 2001 AI people. Pretty much. Makes it easier for me. We'll fuck the catching up. Move it, Copper. Wrong with 1990s music. Twenty-three years later, this twenty-three years later, this game is still so fun. Yeah. Joey, Joey has for us. Right. Oh. Dog food guy's back. Repeat this mission. And try right. not try not to overturn the car this time. Right. Oh, I love this song! 
Well, enjoy it until I have to get out of the car. How it is going. This is how I feel. I naked on the floor. never change into something real. And I can see this perfect sky is torn. This was a song you could not uh, get away from when it first came out. <laughs> Heard it everywhere. <laughs> Again, it's this horse. I know. Get your hands off me, ass. Oopsie! <laughs> Wasn't me! Yeah, well, just like Mafia 3 when somebody to love came on, I gotta get out of the car. Sorry. This was really cool to watch back in the day. Oh, it's floating in the air. Oh, okay, see. It's a, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it's a crane. Yeah, okay. I can see the perfect sky is tall. There we go. $69,000. <laughs> Giggity. Alright, back to Joey. Yeah, I mean, I think it can be left up to the imagination of what happens to them when they go into the dog, the dog food factory. Yep. Use your imagination. Oh, he's still there. Hello. The thieves. What you got? I hired some thieves to break into my apartment and steal some stuff so I could claim on the insurance as you do. The thieving bastards are threatening to tell the insurance company if I don't give them a cut. Can you believe it? I left the car inside the factory gates. Use it to go pick them up from their turf in the red light district. Then bring them back to the factory so I can make them see Marty's point of view. Sure thing, Marty. What is that color? Oh, gross. That is what I would call f uh, okay, French no, mustard red. yellow. The dangers of Ugh. Streets of Rage? Huh. Yeah, same era. Right, and 
get in with this complete stranger that you've never met before to meet a man you know you're pissed off. What could possibly yep. go wrong? Everything. Yeah, the Sentinel. Clearly a BMW, and it is fast. Horrible fucking colour though. Alright, in you school, Marty's waiting. Have a nice chat. Have fun. Oh, thank God I can respray the car. Mm, it's foggy. Ooh. Can't remember the last time I saw proper fog. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Me oh, wait, I can. It was last winter. It was so foggy, I was coming home one night and I could barely frickin' see. Oh, damn. Yeah, but the fog, the fog was that thick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, what colors have been we sprayed into? Oh, it's like a, it's like a maroonish red. All right. I like it. Well, it's better than that French mustard yellow. Oh, my banshee's still there. I'm pretty sure Joey's is closed at this time. Makes sense. He works in a garage, so it would it would shut down. Yeah. Yes. Pump the jam. Oh. Dead skunk in the trunk. Beautiful. Let's pump the just jam. Beautiful. We'll hear it in a minute. All right. Mm. Just the guy I need to talk to. All right. There's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood. All right. All right. Yes. Pump the jam. Pump it up. I yeah, remember they used the instrumental of this in Space Jam. Yeah. When they were getting prepared for the game. Yep. Great movie though. Yeah. I don't care, and so I will defend Space Jam 1 until the day I die. Space Jam 2 wasn't too bad either. It was just a fun movie. Yeah. yeah. I know this is an ambush because I've done this a thousand times. Yeah. It wouldn't let me fire. I mean, it's glitching. Uh. Uh, dude. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. 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 Hey, dude. It's Guys! Well, I've got them in this. Oh, no! Ow. Wasted. Wasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what happens when I die. Jeez. 
So they, they completely ignored you. Uh oh. Taxi driver's not happy I stole his car. Oopsie! Sorry! Dicks. Hey, folks, it's Yeah, a few people like to theorize that in the opening intro when Catalina shot Claude, yeah. uh, they theorize he was shot in the neck, which is why he doesn't speak. Oh, that makes sense. Like to try and give him a legit reason for being a mute. Yeah. So I'll accept that as my headcanon. He got shot in the neck, so he can't speak. Though a bullet hole to the neck, wouldn't you have died? Uh... I think it depends on. I think it depends on where it hits and how long it takes you to get treated. Hmm. So if it really was a bullet in the neck, it's a miracle. You can survive getting shot in the head. Still, it's a miracle he survived. It's bigger. Mm. Now, more hits from the '60s. 1760s, that is. <laughs> it's the Ferrelli brothers! <laughs> oh. Ow. I am innocent! I am the innocent! Gonna run to you! A 90s remix of Run To You, can't go wrong. I know, it's good. Oh, what to you? Uh, I think I lost them. Good. It's a case of just trying to trick the AI, hence why I was taking sharp turns and all that. Smart. She never let me down. Get out of the vehicle. <laughs> just get in here in case they decide to come chasing me again. Can't let go. FM. Tonight, the TV event that will make history, Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. Mm, we're closest to El Burro. Let's go see if he, what he wants. Yeah, that was another thing people really liked about this game at the time was uh, you could basically do it in any order you liked. Ah. Any more security cars you want cracked, bring them to our garage in the Portland Harbor. Oh yeah, this was a mod I installed, so you can actually have a sort of in-game map. This is Liberty City. Again, it's tiny by today's standards, but back in the day, this was pretty big. The fireman missions. There's actually a glitch you can do to get through them quickly. If I press the replay button. Oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> so it's just a case of uh. My knee. <laughs> Oh, 
Whatever you say, buddy. I can't remember how many it is per island. I think it's 20, if you have 20 fires per island and you become fireproof. Mm. Oh, it's just a case of doing this for a, a couple of minutes. There we are. Hey. Let's go see El Guro. Out of the way! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Ow. You jackass! I scream, you scream. Oh, I love this one. I started my exotic entertainment business with nothing but the sizable contents of my leather pants. A gang of no-goods has threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut. They threatened the wrong man, amigo. They have a weakness for the ice cream. Pick up the bomb I've eaten in hardwood, hijack the regular ice cream van on its rounds, and lure these fools to their doom with the jingly jingly. The jingly jingly. <laughs> I'll take that. them in with the jingly 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 all right let's go get the ice cream bud Ice cream, big scoop! Real cheap ice cream. Get your ice cream here. One scoop, please. <laughs> Drink, mister! <laughs> what are you doing, Ed? Get your own! Get your own! <laughs> Only Ed would find a baseball covered in paint appetizing. I... I... This is Ed we're talking about. Real cheap ice cream! Ed is a walking dis garbage disposal. This one's foolproof! Oh, I'll look around. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's a good song, too. Bang. Yep! Mr. Whoopi. Why is the Pennywise clown on it? I don't know. Pennywise, look! I know. Oh, the ice cream van doesn't have a radio. But... Oh no, what if the ice cream signals? Waha, 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 waha. <sighs> Do you have Prince Albert and a tan? Oh, you better let him out. Waha, waha, waha. How long can you listen to this before you go crazy? No. Now I can't unsee it's fucking Pennywise. Locked in. You're locked in a room for 24 hours with this playing constantly. Oh god. 
They they all float. They all float too. Let's creep, let's creep, let's creep, let's creep, let's creep, let's creep. What, you couldn't play the Mr. Softy theme? The creamiest, creamiest soft ice cream you get from Mr. Softy. Alright. SOF, SOF, T double E, Mr. Softy. Alright. Just stand over here. There they are. Ice cream, big scoop! Ice cream! Cheap ice cream! Get your ice cream here! One scoop, please. And fuck you! <laughs> and this was the only 3D GTA game to actually have gore in it. <laughs> oh god! See, look, they're all dismembered. Yeah, they're they exploded. Yep. Which for some reason they took out of the PS2 version, but you could re-enable it with a cheat. Ah. Hey. Right. Now I need a car. I'm a little marooned. The hell? Who's that? The guy. He must have pickpocketed that homeless guy. Hey. 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 There we are. <laughs> Doing my bit for crime in this city. Don't pickpocket the homeless. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to be pretty petty to pay, uh, pickpocket a homeless guy, for God's sake. I know, like, what the fuck, man? <sighs> the jingly jingly. The jingly jingly. Oh, Any way of saying money. Finally, a car. Like flash. Again, I don't think Joey will be available at this time. If, if not, we can do something else. Sorry! Yep, come back between 6am and 2 o'clock for a job. Okay. I'll go see El Boro again. There's a dancer. Oh, great song. Excellent. All right, El Boro, what you got for us? Trial by fire. Ooh, this is a good one. Some Ooh. insolent triad stole my beautiful car last night, wrecked it, and left it burning. Some of my most precious donkey memorabilia was in the trunk. Real collectibles that are irreplaceable, my friend. I've hidden a throbbing weapon on the edge of Chinatown. Take it and teach these triad vandals to fear El Boro's well in town wrath. Arriba! Well in town wrath. Arriba! Well in town wrath, for fuck's sake. And yes, this guy seems to have a fixation with donkey porn. Of course. The jingly jingly. Arriba! Now we gotta torch some triads. They're the guys in the, the blue overalls that you've seen walking around. Okay. These guys. <laughs> I am evil Marshall. Da 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 da. Oh! <laughs> Nicely done, oh, fire department. 
I mean, it took long enough for the cops to respond to someone running around town with a flamethrower. Oh, piss off, coppers. Hey, if it's, if it's any consolation, I'm taking down criminals. You know, kind of doing your job for you. The triads, they are brutal in real life. Oh, yeah. Like, do not mess with the triads. No. Glasgow used to, I think, I don't know if they still do, but Glasgow had triads at one point. Really? Yeah. You're muffled. Oh, how about now? Better. Alright, one more. There we are. Very nice. Oh, we used to say some of the triads are angry. Yeah, ding me on. Well, you're not going to need that gun anymore. Anyway. Oh, I need some health. Thankfully, there is E. The hospital's just down the road. Liberty City is a city I know of by heart. Like, I literally don't need to use the radar for anything in Liberty City. Huh, S Club. That was another song I couldn't escape in my childhood. Oh god. I think El Burro has one mission left, so may as well go finish off his missions. Big and veiny. A thieving opportunist has stolen a van of my latest publication, Hub of the Press. But that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open, and now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Does Dallas volumes 1, 2, and 3, collecting it as you go. When you follow the trail to that thieving spank head, waste him. Then deliver my donkey derby to Triple X Max in the red light district. Easy enough. Hey, what's up, wow, what music for collecting porn on the road? Fuck it. Oh. Right. Oh, the the classy way to collect porn. <laughs> oh my god! Do you expect it's Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> Fucking hell.
glass piece really says something important about texture, don't you? I like to listen to this next movement while enjoying a fine Chardonnay and a warm brie at my summer retreat in the Catskill. Do you know what I'm I know! Opera! I've killed the rabbit! Oh god! Kill the rabbit! Kill the rabbit! Kill the rabbit! Kill the rabbit! What's opera, Doc? My spear and magic helmet! My spear, your spear and magic helmet? Magic helmet! Magic, magic helmet! Now. Well, what do you expect in an opera? A happy ending? Pretty much. And it's true! In opera, there are no happy endings. Fucking hell, I cut that close. Alright, all the... <clears throat> now, now, I just now, I just, now I just think of sweeping Pavarotti. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> and now the... <clears throat> material's been collected. Let's get it delivered. Sweeping Pavarotti. Oh yeah, sweep from the Sooty Show in case anyone's unfamiliar. To give you context, Sudi is a talking puppet, uh, is a puppet show in the UK, and the main yes. character, the main character is a little teddy bear called Sooty who never speaks. And it's been going, it's been going on the UK for over sixty years. And now I want you to say, big floppy donkey dick. No, no, success. All right, you creepos, then you go get your material. Freaks! There's the entrance to the subway, but of course... Uh, since we're only in one island right now, the subway's closed. Hmm. I, I need a vehicle. Build it! I need a vehicle! Alright, let's go see uh, Joey. We've got time now to go to one of his missions. One step more. Oh, Mr. Whoopi. Ice cream! It's always when the good songs are on, you have to get out of the car. The getaway. A reference to the actual game. <laughs> Maybe. What a good game. Gonna be, huh? Alright, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get him to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after. All right, so we're being a driver for a bank job. Hmm, I need something a little faster than this van. Oh, you'll do. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Huge. Oh, yes! Yes! What am I? Everyone's errand boy? Yeah, that's basically what Claude is. He's an errand boy. He's a, that's all he is. He's a, he's a freelance errand boy. He's a freelance errand boy. He has no loyalty to anyone. Whoa! Hey, officer. Nothing to see here with these three guys with uh, tights over their head coming out. Um, there they are. That was weird. 
Is wearing tights over your head really obscure your face that much? It can. All right. Keep the engine running. We'll be in and out in no time. You got it. <laughs> Alright. That was lose. awesome. Gotta lose the coppers. The the, the place we resprayed the car earlier, you can use that to get away from the coppers. Shadow will love the video of a baby Mewtwo running around. Really? What? Anyway. Let's hope those missing witnesses turn up safe and sound. Whips 106. We've got a new friend for Simple enough. No, oh, looks, right. like, looks like Joey's missions are finished too, so let's go see Tony Cipriani. Voiced by Michael Madsen. Hey, you jumped in front of me, pal. That was amazing. Just robbing the scat man. Taking out the laundry. Take a, seat, kid. Take a goddamn seat. So the laundry won't pay any protection, huh? The triads think they can mess with me? Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. Yeah, sorry, Ma. Yes, Ma. I want you to destroy their laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. Eight Ball can supply you with what you're gonna need. Yes, eight ball can supplies with what we're going to need, but we don't really need bombs in this instance. Unless he's got, unless it's talking about another weapon. Let's go have a look. He has, he has literally just down here. Yeah. Such a small city makes getting through this a lot easier. I mean, there will come a point where maps in video games get too big. What have we got? Oh, it's grenades. All right. Don't think I'll be using them, but they'll come in handy. Oink. What I am going to do is get more uh, Uzi ammo. Out of the way, people! By the way, taking a shortcut. Anyway, typical New York taxi driver. Yep. Right, just wait for them to respawn. What was that? <laughs> I don't. I don't want to know. I actually. don't. Neither do I. All right, that should be more than enough ammo. Because if you have a if you have a submachine gun, if you press a button to aim the camera a certain way, you can do a drive-by shooting. And 
again. <laughs> nice. Yeah. What the? Oh, you motherfucker. Uh, Is that how you want to play it? Uh, no. Yeah. Head Radio, the uh, the host of Head Radio, his name is Michael Hunt, but he prefers to be called Mike. I'll let you figure out the joke. Mike Hunt. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I mean, to be honest, in terms of, like, crude humour, this game was actually quite tamed compared to the later games. <laughs> This game, te this game has an acronym for people raging against phones, right? It's called Citizens Raging Against Phones. What does that spell out? Oh, God. Crap. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, you motherfucker. I just got carjacked. <laughs> wow. Crap. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's pretty tame compared to the later games. Because it, <laughs> in Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, which takes well, place in the same same city, there's an organization called, right? Remember the yeah. acronym? Citizens United Negating Technology for Life and People's Safety. Uh... <laughs> Wait, say it slowly. Citizens United Negating Technology for Life and People's Safety. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing you got a little bit Grand Theft Auto games, they're funny as hell. Alright, one more van. Have a Think about it, sweet 16. Ah. That is brilliant. Ooh. I need some health. Yes, badly. He likes the way that she is. has agreed to pay. You did real good, kid. Go collect the cash and bring it back here. Watch out for the triads. They may be shoving a firecracker up your ass, but don't take no crap. Nobody, I mean nobody, messes with Tony Cipriani. Mispronunciation of the name there? Yep. It's Tony Cipriani, not Cipriani. Out of the way. Thank you. Oh. Just get to go to the police. Triad ambush. Uh oh. Ah, god damn it. Fuck. Wasted. Yep. Wasted. Mm. 
wonder if these police cars are opened. If they are, yep, I get a shotgun. Is this one opened? Yes, it is. So more, round, more rounds for the shotgun. I can jump into ammunition real quick. But, no, I got a better idea. I'm going to go to that little pickup I showed you earlier. Alrighty. To get armor as well. By one of our own police cars. Oh shit! God damn it! Fuck. Ooh, a kill frenzy. Or rampage as they're called in this game. Kill 20 triads in 120 seconds. Alright. Oh, three for three there. Damn. Out of the way, Copper. Again, I'm doing your job for you. Get that guy! Some of the noises in this game, I swear. Oh! I know. Oh! Yeah, voice acting. It was early days. I'll give it yeah. a break. <laughs> I am evil, Marshall. Yes, you are so evil. Well, I'm killing criminals, aren't I? Yeah. Rampage complete. Oh, fuck. I am innocent! Even though I just killed 20 of your guys. Oh, come on. innocent. Anyway. <laughs> the wife. The business is gonna go under unless I get a hold of some serious cash soon. My wife has an insurance policy and all she's ever been to me is a hole in my pocket. I've left the car in the usual place. Go and pick up my wife from Classic Nails and bring her back to the factory. Well. Huh. I said this game was dark. Yeah, you weren't kidding. Has bad breaks. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll be very quick. Sorry, brain fart. It's all right. What the? What? Uh, something blew up there. I don't know what it was. Okay. All right, in you go. Well. 
take the car and dump it in the sea. Oh, there, that's what it was, but how did it... Uh, you know what, I don't want to know. I don't want to know Should be able to just push it. Whoa, easy there. There we go. Disposed nice. of. <laughs> and there's only one more mission from that Marty Chunks guy, and I don't know if it's available yet. Hmm. One way to find out. Yep, it's available. Her lover. Damn, I'm in trouble. Turns out my wife was seeing some guy I owe money to. He's got real angry, and he's looking for payback. I've agreed to see him. He thinks I'm gonna pay him off, but my guess is Liberty's dogs are gonna get yet another flavor this month. That is fucked up. Yes. That's Grand Theft Auto. It's supposed to be fucked up. If Grand Theft Auto ever went politically correct, then you know something's wrong. Oh yeah, gotta go collect the car. Equinox, softening. Like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. Petsovernight.com delivering Saying little animals bundles overnight of love no in the box check? directly to your door. More tolerable, less annoying. A better variety of weird noises between songs. The station your parents warned you about. More commercials. Fewer songs. Bigger contests. More winners. Fewer positioning statements. This is the one and only Head Radio. Head Radio. Well, I mean, how the, oh, oh, the radio's always like every stop with sound effects and all that stuff. These boys yep. Are huh? And this Classic game is, 90s. and this game is a clear satire of that. Yep. I mean, even two rival radio stations, there's a sexual pun Isn't in it. That just great? The one I was yeah, listening I to there, Head Next Radio, it's rival, is Lips 106. Head, oh. Lips. Of your choice. As long as you choose one of our competition sponsors. Oh, <laughs> the amount of stuff that went over my head in this game when I was a kid. Hello. Welcome to Lips 106. Trent? Hey, this is Andy. On the that sounded like Trent from Daughter there, the guy going, steel. Lips yeah. 106. CDs are steel. There's Marty. Today, it's all about the music. Carl, uh, hi. Uh, you know, they could have done with a roadhead radio. Money. Okay. But if you just step into my office, it's far too late for that, Marty. You had your chance, but now I'm taking over the business. Oh dear. Congratulations, Carl. You're the new head of the bitchin' dog food factory. For 10 seconds! <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah, that's his mission's done because um, uh, something's just telling me he's not going to be able to give out any more missions. Nope. Just to make sure. Anyway. That is that. Hmm. We're, we're approaching the two-hour mark. Let's have some fun. 
What are you doing? I'm gonna put on a cheat. That's the uh, speed up gameplay cheat. Put it on twice, you go fast as hell. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> get a car, get a car. Hey you, car, car, who? Care? Me? Hey you, give me. Oh yeah. Oh, you! Oh, yeah. I'll be there for you. Speed! For me too. Speed! 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 <laughs> yeah, car! Yeah, car! Hey, you! Give me a car! Oh, no! Speed! I am speed! 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 I'll get you there in time, don't worry about it! Uh oh, coppers! <laughs> hey, you! Give me! Oh! Coppers! You'll never take me alive! I swear! For I am speed! Woo! You're having way too much fun. Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, the speed wore off. Okay, that's enough. <sighs> Spoil sport. <laughs> You've had all the fun. Ding ding. And from that day forward, Claude vowed never to, to take speed again. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, that was enough. that's enough chaos for one night. Yeah. So, that's Grand Theft Auto 3 so far. I like it so far. Yeah. Again, pioneering game of its time. Yeah. Alright, anything to say before we get ready to step off? Nope, I'm good. All right, folks, uh, thanks for tuning in. Again, there'll be no stream this Thursday because I'll be away for a convention. Have fun, honey. I will. I'll have lots of fun. So make sure to join us the Thursday Thursday next week for the start of the new Ace Attorney trilogy. Yeah. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>